Listen, goodness, dear students, welcome to our English class for this week. First of all, listen to the following video about the Hail Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Welcome to our English class, dear students. Let's start with our daily phrase so we usually work in front of our English lessons. Please and goodness, dear students, I hope all of you and your family feel good with the God's blessings. We always keep in mind all the healthy recommendations, especially for this hard time that is coronavirus pandemic. So let's start with the topic for this week, keeping in mind our healthcare in the family contest, as well as celebration of the Lord of Miracle and the Flower Games. In this part, we have two kinds of pictures and also inspired words. This is about our farm dress. And this is a kind of phrase may I be defended by you or virgin. Also, we have an important kind of picture about our foundress, Madre Clara del Corazón de María. And the words, if we are immaculate in orders, we must be holy. Obvious in-house vocabulary. We have this kind of topic for today. And also, we have some kind of picture related to this kind of topic. Okay, a cabinet, a toilet, a cabinet, a chair, and also a plate about this kind of topic. Let's see this part. Today is Monday, 12th October, 2020. As a competence and achievement, we have to work at the test and just conventions. And the topic for today is objects in house vocabulary. Okay, so <clears throat> we have an objects in house vocabulary, and in this chart we have different kinds of works, and also in English and in Spanish. Cabinets, armario, sinks, caño, stove, cocina, sofa, sillón, shower, ducha, bathtub, bañera. Closet, closet, bed, cama, and also dining table, mesa de comedor, coffee table, mesa de centro, sala, refrigerator, refrigeradora, armchair, sillón de una sola persona, dining chair, silla de comedor, nightstand, mesa de noche, and dressing table, tocador, and toilet, inodoro. Okay? So, we have uh, different kind of objects in house and also part of the house. You have to remember about the part of the house, like a living room, bedroom, kitchen, garage, okay, dining room. We have also to remember this kind of words, right? So, some example of that, we have some kind of example like this. We have to remember that. So, there is a sofa in the living room. There is a sink in the bathroom. There is a stove in the kitchen. There are cabinets in the kitchen. There are wraps in the living room. There are beds in the bedrooms. There are closets in the bedrooms. And there are sinks in the kitchen, okay? So we have different kinds of examples. And also you have to realize the some of them we have to use there is and there are. What is the correct meaning of there is? There is significa I, okay? Y siempre se trabaja de manera singular. Y el there are significa hay, pero de manera varios, okay? Varios. Pero en este caso trabaja de manera plural. Entonces, hay un sofá, hay eh, eh, armarios en la cocina, ¿no? Entonces, aquí vamos a diferenciar lo que es singular y plurales. Entonces, con la finalidad de entender más ello, according to this kind of examples, let's work with the English student book 2A. This is our English student open mind level 2A. 
and this part of the unit we have to arrange in this part leaving spaces and then we have to look at the basic rules of feng shui in the bath in the bathroom which feng shui rules do the bathroom in the picture follow which ones don't they follow a feng shui is a chinese or art of creating a harmonious environment this is about the feng shui so use re relaxing colors like a pastel blue, green, or yellow. Position your bed so you can see the door to the road. Your feet should not point to the door. Keep your bedroom organized, not messy. Messy rooms create negative energy. Do not keep work or study themes in your bedroom too. So. In this part, we have like a recommendations when you have to to do a, a cleaning bedroom. Also, in part B, we have think about your bedroom, which themes follow the rules of feng shui, which do not tell a partner. Okay, in this part, we have to work together in pair words in order to know more about this kind of activity, and also we have to remember about the organize how. And which note is about the follow the rules on feng shui in your bedroom okay in this part we have two kind of pictures like a organized bedroom and also a messy bedroom okay which one is for you the correct kind of picture and also what is a following for you okay so we have to work this part in our zoom class for today in the next page we have in part a one Vocabulary object in a house. A. Draw a label the missing items in the architect house plan. Use the symbols in the key. So, we have in this part different kinds of words related to the objects in a house. Sink, stoof, sofa, cabinet, wrap, shower, bathtub, closet, and bed. But also we have different kinds of words part of the house, for example, kitchen, living or dining room, bathroom, and bedroom. In that kind of the instruction, we have to draw, okay? We have to draw and leave the missing items. So, we have to draw, for example, in this part, cabinets. What does the cabinet mean? The cat is armarios. We have to draw. What is the meaning of draw? Dibujar. Vamos a dibujar, entonces, de acuerdo a las palabras que están en cada una de ellas detalladas y las que faltan por completar. For example, cabinets where is a missing part. We have to draw this part, okay? And also we have to like a sofa, right? We have to work this part. Route in that part we have to draw this one. And also bed, we have to draw this part. Okay, so we have to, to read first of all each kind of words and we have to, to complete the kind of the architect's house plan. Okay, as soon as you finish this kind of exercise, we will let's go to part B. In part B, so work in pairs, compare your house plans also. Okay, and we have to work in this part. Time to share your own ideas. We have to do your speak English and it's English time for you. In this part, we have part B, working pairs, compare your house plans. You can start as an example. In my plan, there is a sofa and two art chairs in the living room. There is a coffee table in front of the sofa. What about your living room? How is a house plan? You have to describe, okay? First of all, you have to write in your notebooks. Van a escribir en sus, en sus cuadernos de inglés o en su blog de notas. Van a describir un, su casa de ustedes, el plan de su casa de ustedes. ¿Qué es lo que hay? Pueden empezar diciendo, in my plan, there is a sofa and two chairs in the living room, one chair in the living room. Depende de lo que ustedes, cómo tienen en su casa distribuida, van a ir describiendo. Okay, pueden empezar como empieza de ejemplo. Also, we have to let's start like this. 
in my plan there is a chair and a sofa in the living room there is a big lamp in my bedroom and also we have to realize more details okay acá tienen que agregar ustedes más detalles para trabajar no es que solo hago dos ejemplos y terminó dice description okay vamos a describir nuestro plan house y luego dice about you porque luego le vamos a dar continuidad al compañero para que continúe explicando su house plan esta actividad va a ser revisada y trabajada durante la clase de Zoom del día de hoy. ¿Ok? Entonces, hay que tener muy en cuenta ese trabajo, chicos, para el día de hoy. Los estudiantes que no han ingresado hoy en la actividad, pues van a visualizar al finalizar cómo se trabajó lo que es el libro. Tratemos en lo posible de ingresar durante la clase de Zoom y participar activamente desde ya. ¿Ok? Also in this part we have our metacognition. Three kinds of example, like uh, what did you learn today, how did you learn it, and what did you use it for it. We have three different kinds of questions in order to know more about this part. And also we have to focus on this kind of question all the time in the process of the English lessons, okay? Todo el proceso de nuestra clase de inglés vamos a enfatizar la metaconexión durante la clase por Zoom. We have the COVID no matter solos, no, no, we have to be accomplices a putting the on the coronavirus. So guys, in most of this part, we have some kind of recommendations for you. First of all, you have to remember your assistance is very important, if they, okay? Recuerden que su asistencia es muy importante en cada clase durante el horario remoto. Asimismo, recuerden, chicos, que tienen adjuntadas debajo de los links de Zoom las hojas a trabajar el día de hoy, que este caso es con el Student Book para los que no tienen texto. También se les recuerda, por favor, al ingreso por Zoom, ingresar con sus nombres y apellidos completos para ser habilitados durante la clase, participar activamente estando dentro de ella, ya sea por el chat o sea de manera oral, que sería lo mejor. Pero damos las dos alternativas, pero siempre no dejando de participar, ya que recuerden que las clases en su mayoría son clases dadas y clases revisadas y evaluadas. Entonces, tratemos en lo posible de hacer la participación activa. Recuerden también lo posible de cada vez que vamos a eh, participar, activar esa cámara para visualizar el monitoreo correspondiente. Thanks all for today. And remember to keep in mind our heavy care in the family contest. So, let's not be accomplices for the coronavirus. Recuerden también, estudiantes, por favor, de observar el video que se trabajó en la clase Zoom con sus compañeros el día de hoy y los que no han ingresado, enviar hoy esta actividad para la revisión correspondiente, por favor, durante el horario remoto. Thank you so much and blessing for all of you.